Hey, what's going on? This is your math instructor again, once again, Mr. P, doing a Math 020 lesson, Chapter 6, 6.1. Today, we're talking about ratios. And ratio is just another fraction. It's just a fancy way of saying another fraction. So, ratios. Six, chapter 6, 6.1 starts off with ratio. Well, like I said, ratios are fractions with the same uh, uh, nuance in the numerator and denominator. So, for example, three days to six days. Well, since the days are the same units, these are going to cancel. The days are going to cancel, and you'll get three over six, which reduces to one half. But this is actually called the ratio because the units are the same. There are three different types of ways of representing ratios. There is A to B. And this A is the same thing as this A is the same thing as that A. So there, this is read A to B. Uh, you can also put it in a fraction format where that first thing comes top and the second thing goes bottom, right? And then you got the colon part where the first thing at the top is first and the colon and then the second thing is next. Those are the three, three ways of representing a ratio context. Let's look at a particular example. Suppose you got five fruits, three apples, two oranges, right? Oh, that should be plural. Ah, I got to think about my English. Here. Hold up. So, three apples, two oranges, right? Well, the ratio problems to suggest is this. Well, let's look at the, let's investigate the ratios of apples to fruit. Apples to oranges, and so apples to fruit, apples to oranges, and oranges to fruit. Well, there were three apples out of the five fruits. So apples to fruit would be three over five, or three to five, or three over five, right? Apples to oranges would be three over two, right? And then oranges to fruit would be 2 over 5. Now, later on, we're going to talk about why that's 40%, but that's when we talk about percent. Let's do another quick example right here over in the corner. So this is another ratio where we're talking about people, 8 people to 12 people. Well, of course, the peoples cancel, so you're left with 8 over 12. But see, 8 over 12, 4 goes into 8 twice, and 4 goes into 12, 3. So it reduces down 2 thirds is the reduction. So the fraction and answer with this ratio would be 2 thirds. <laughs> Alright, well that's all I got to teach you for ratios. That's a real quick lesson, right? That's actually easier than fractions was. But, you know, once you had fractions, you kind of know now what's going on, right? Math made easy by staying. We on to the next lesson.